Will. <laughs> Long time no see. How are y'all? Am I really recording a YouTube video? I'm sorry, I look very busted up right now. And I probably sound like you too. I am recovering from COVID. Again. Now, I haven't recorded a YouTube video in a while, so I just ask y'all to bear with me because I literally have no idea what I'm doing. My name is Shayla, and I'm the best. All the DJs want to fill my up. It, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it, it. It, it, okay, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome to, to our club. club. Welcome, welcome to, to our club. club. And if you're not new, what's up, gang? It's been a minute. What it do, baby? Yeah. My hair is in a sopping wet bun. I just washed it, and um, I'm in my crusty get ready T-shirt because. I received a package. Dun, 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 dun. Donna's recipe. So today I'm going to be trying out the Donna's recipe sweet potato line. I only got the leave-in conditioner and the oil. As you can see, I have locks now. So I'm going to be testing out Donna's recipe on my locks. Let's open this sucker up. Pretty sure the lock community is going to eat me up for this video. I don't really care because you have to do what works best for your hair. And if I get a lot of buildup, I just get a lot of buildup, so like, leave me alone. I knew this is only my third month doing this, okay? I've been locked for three months and yeah oil and water just don't do it for me i'm sorry first things first let's talk about the products and the shipping i did a pre-order of these products the day before thanksgiving that was november 23rd of course it was like after Thanksgiving, give it like seven to 10 business days. Okay. I'm assuming a lot of people ordered Donna's recipe because here we are 11 days before Christmas. It is December 14th and I'm just now getting my package. I did the math. I did the math and Seven to 10 business days. Like before we even get into this uh, routine or whatever, I've seen other people with locks put leave-in conditioners, butters, creams, all of that in their hair. So why can't I, in particular, put a leave-in in my hair. Enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Let's section my hair. Ugh, y'all. That smell all, all. I can't remember how much these retail for because I got mine on sale. Um, for Black Friday, so I will look up the price and yeah, have it all linked down below. Yada yada yada. <laughs> this is the Donna's recipe by Tabitha Brown. Sweet potato pie, extra creamy lead-in. Conditional. Rich and sweet says it's made with real sweet potatoes, stirred with vanilla and sprinkled with warm cinnamon. Perfect hair recipe for nourished and moisture for hair and scalp. Bet. It is like very creamy. I mean, look, 
Look at that. It's like a lotion. Ooh, I wish I could just smell it. Now that I am done, I'm going to put a plastic cap, a shower cap, on my head and let this sit for about 15 minutes and I'll be back to apply the oil. Now I'm about to lock in all that moisture with the oil. The oil. This is the Sweet Potato Extra Creamy Hair and Scalp Oil. It is also rich and sweet. I forgot to read like some of the benefits of these products. No parabens, it's color safe, free of SLS and SLES. For the oil, it says apply a small amount to damp or dry hair and style as desired. Donna's tip is to use this as the second step for the LLC routine or final step for LCO routine. Leave in oil cream. Yeah. The ingredients it has is like shea butter, coconut oil, avocado oil, castor oil. Why didn't I read this stuff before I bought it? It is 100% vegan. Of course. Let's get into the oil. First things first, gotta take this off. I've never seen an oil in a jar, but this is it. I don't know how to feel about this. So this is the small amount I got. Then rub it in, oh. Why does it feel like that? I'm not sure how to feel about the oil. I'm pretty sure it's me. I'm, I'm using it wrong, knowing me. Scooping it out. Rubbing it into my hands. That's the texture, excuse my little pieces of hair. It, yeah, like it, it looks like this once you rub it in for a little bit, but like it feels like a sugar scrub. But I am going to put the shower cap back on my head so this can all absorb in and I'll be back again. So I'm back at it again with the back at it again. I've let that oil sit in my hair honestly for like a good hour. My hair feels super juicy. Like I'm not even not even gonna front with y'all. My hair feels so good. Final thoughts. Love the leave-in. It, it did what needed to be done. It's super creamy. It moisturized my hair. Like, had I not used the shower cap, I'm not gonna lie, it probably would have been a no for me. Like, my hair is locked, so I knew better anyway. But I wanted to try it because, like I said, I use leave-in conditioner, whether it's in the spray, even though I feel like sprays don't really work for me. The oil, I'm not a huge fan of it. The texture of it, I, I kid y'all not, it felt like a scalp scrub or something, like a sugar scrub or something. And I was like, what is this? But I do, um, plan on continuing to use it because uh, first of all, I've already paid for it. Probably use it more on my scalp than on my hair. Um, I, I'm open to give it another shot. Of course, like I said, 
once I put that plastic cap back on, even with the oil, it definitely helped. Those are those are pretty much my final thoughts. I like I like the products. Like I said, my hair feels super hydrated, which is great because the shampoo that I use, um, it's like very clarifying. So I need something to restore that moisture back in there back into my hair. Mama Tab, I don't know if you'll ever see this video. I hope that you do. I hope that you like it. Um, I kept it a buck 50. Don't forget to like this video. Uh, don't forget to let Mama Tab know that I posted it. Tell it if you plan on trying these products or not. You totally should. I know this is a joke, but you totally should. Bye.